I've been shopping for my classroom. Been to Target, Amazon, and I visited a local teacher store to pick up some borders. And I thought I would just show you everything that I have picked up for my classroom so far. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent and I share tips on running effective and efficient classrooms so that you can get more done and still have time to teach. And this is just a classroom haul vlog. Uh, maybe not a whole lot of tips, but maybe you'll find something interesting that you want to get for your classroom. So I'll start with Target first and honestly, I did not buy hardly anything at Target. I have set myself a budget this year and I'm really trying to stay in that budget. So the, the only thing I picked up at Target were two of these little pillows from uh, Bullseye's Playground. They are $5 a piece. They are for my couch. I have a couch in my classroom. I got rid of my other pillows because it was just time for them to go. So I only had two pillows and it just kind of needed two more pillows. So I got these. They're kind of small, but I think they'll fit perfectly and they're kind of neutral, which is the look I was going for. So that is the only thing I picked up at Target. I went to a local school supply store. I tried to go and buy things that are typically harder to ship. I know I can buy like borders and like and things like that online, but I wasn't sure how many how much border I needed, so I wanted to make sure I had the ability to return it fairly easy. Plus I like to support my those local teachers there that uh, work at the school spot. I picked up just a black scalloped border. I'm not sure that I need this, but I wanted to go ahead and pick it up anyway in case I do. I know I have some at school. Same thing with the white. I also got just a white one. I like to layer with these. So I went ahead and picked these up just in case I need them. I had to take down my old bulletin board that had this and so I'm not sure how much I have left and I bought two just in case because this is my favorite I do a black fabric background and so then this will go on it and then this is new to me this year the um, eucalyptus my thought is to layer this on top of that with my black background I think that will look really cute um, in the past four years, I've had it layered with the white. It actually goes like that, but so we'll see how it goes. That's what I picked up from there. And then I also just picked up a new calendar. Um, my other one has, I think, I'm pretty sure I've had that for 10 years. So it's seen better days. So it's picked up a new calendar from there. And the rest have all come from Amazon. So the first thing I picked up was, I don't know if this is gonna fit. I hope it's gonna fit. It is a cover for an office chair. So the one I have in my classroom has like some sort of stain on it. It's been that way since the beginning and every time I see it in pictures, it like drives me nuts. So hopefully this will fit and cover it up and look nice. I just got black, they come in lots of colors but i just went with black to match and then i picked up some tacket that i have seen on tiktok i think is where i saw this i'm hoping this will work for my lunch numbers i have magnets but several of the magnets fell off so i'm hoping this will work for my students and so i don't have to keep hot gluing magnets on that this tacket will work if you've used tacket before let me know but apparently you, it's an adhesive that you can reposition so you can just move things over and over again hoping that will work out I picked up some magnet tiles when they were on sale for prime day I am wanting to do a soft start with my students I have Legos and I was going to use some math manipulatives like the cubes and the pattern blocks and then I'm going to add this and I think I have probably like some art supplies or things like that I definitely am gonna do a so soft start on Fridays where students can just come in and choose one of these things to work on instead of like your typical morning work. Um, I don't know if I'll do it for the other days or not. What kind of, I'm, this is the first time I've done it so I'm kind of gonna see how it goes. The next thing I picked up was a 20 pack of these little pouches. I have some of these left over from last year, but basically my students on their supply list have a pencil box, plastic pencil box that they keep all their supplies in but those are really just kind of too big and we don't need all of those supplies every day in fourth grade. 
We use a lot of it at the beginning of the year, but like their crayons and scissors, we don't use regularly. So those will stay in those boxes in their cubbies and then they will keep their glue sticks and pencils and a lot of them put like their uh, reward coupons and things like that in here. So this will stay with them at their desk because it's smaller and more compact and doesn't take up as much room since we have tables. Um, so I bought some more of these to, for my students. Another Amazon deal I got on Prime Day were, are these keychains. They're like these little, let's see if I can take it out. So they're these little acrylic, they're cloudy right now because there's a little layer you have to peel off. And then it comes with a keychain to hook up to it. And then there's a little tassel also. But I was going to use my Cricut to put, um, I don't know if I'm gonna put like just Vincent's Visionaries because that's our class name or Visionary Squad, something like that so they can I can give them to my students on the first day of school and they can hang them on their book bag. Um, just a little back to school gift that I thought I would do for my students. Then I picked up myself my desk calendar. This is a smaller calendar and much cheaper than you can get them in like the office supply stores or even Target. But I like to put all my dates and important things to remember on this, which sits right on my top of my desk next to my laptop because I've tried using like a calendar, like inside a planner. And because I don't see it every day, I forget things. So having this like right on my desk when I come in in the morning, I can see, oh, I have a meeting tomorrow. Oh, we have an assembly. Oh, I need to turn this in. Like just having it right there in front of my face is what works best for me. So that's what this is. I really like this one because it has the lines and it has a calendar so I can see upcoming dates. So I like to get those. And then this final purchase that I have is totally for selfish reasons and not necessarily for my classroom, but is for me at school. I bought myself a neck fan. So I live in South Carolina and it is hot most of the year and our playground does not have hardly any shade and the little bit of shade it does have is like the complete opposite side of the playground and so all the teachers sit up near the building and there's no shade i actually take an umbrella out with me so i have shade but it's still just so ridiculously hot so i bought this on amazon had pretty good reviews to use for recess so now all of the teachers will be jealous because I will be so cool. Not cool, but like, you know, feeling good. And then I saw Maylene from Mrs. Calls Campers on Instagram. She shared she got one of these and she's gonna use it for classroom setup. And I was like, genius, because they do not have the air conditioning on during the summer. So when I go into next week to set up, it won't be quite as hot. It'll still be hot, but I'm so, this is probably the, the purchase I'm most excited about. I almost forgot to share with you this. I picked up, I got this on Amazon too. It is, oh, it doesn't even fit in the whole screen. It is a black pocket chart, but it's small for schedules. I really like that it also has this pocket down here to keep additional cards. It came with cards like this. Um, but I have my own schedule cards that we, I will use. It also has little hooks so that if you wanted to hook it over a door, but I'm just going to use command strips and hook it onto my wall. I also picked that up. I just found one more thing that I got at Target that I actually forgot that I got. I picked up some of these Velcro strips that, um, oh look, it comes with a level. Fun. They're designed to hang up pictures and so I use this to hang up anything that's a little bit heavier that I don't think hot glue will work. I have cinder block walls and this works really great. I have a big picture frame that I hang up and then I used this to hang up like my plastic uh, file holders last year. I'm not using those this year but this works great so I picked that up as well. I am fortunate enough to where the state of South Carolina actually provides us money to spend for our classrooms each year. So a lot of this is coming from that. I just have to provide the receipts. Of course, things like my neck fan and things like that are personal. And so I spent my own money on that, but I just wanna preface that you do not have to buy anything for your classroom. Um, don't feel obligated, but I know I like seeing what other people are buying 
and wanted to share. I still have some other things to get. I need to get crayons for my students. I need to get some colored copy paper. I feel like there was something else I needed to get, but a few more things that I haven't quite picked up yet that I will get closer to when teachers go back. If you're interested in seeing some of the things that I have created on my computer and printed out to decorate my classroom with because most of my decor comes from the stuff I make personally, you can check out the video that's on your screen now and I will share with you what I have been preparing to set up my classroom.